Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Castle Redux. I'm your host, Mr. Wilhelm the Second Lover, as well as Kurt von Schlacker Lover. Oh, look at that! A funny mustache, man. And he's completely bald. Look at that. But welcome back, of course, to Castle Redux. Like I said earlier, Otto Vales apparently died. The chairman of SDP, or SPD, the Otto Vales, has passed away today. It remains to be seen who will lead the Social Democrats from now on. He's been a worthy opponent. I love that Castle Redux. Sometimes you just flip between things. Whee! Anyways, hope you're having a pretty good day. Right now, we're doing reactivate the Ludendorff line. Uh, where is it? Where'd it go? Hello? L Ludendorff? The Ludendorff line. L or L Lenny, but line. The cynicalist menace looms darker than ever, and fear going into the next war unprepared, the reactivation of the old Ludendorff line. On our western borders, considered vital. Once one of the dictator's many costly prestige projects, a land of bunkers and fortifications has fallen into disuse in recent years. This is nothing that cannot be solved with a bit of engineering ingenuity. Which is going to be very, very helpful to us. Because, uh, <clears throat> we got a certain somebody here not exactly loving us. So, fortify Bastanak alone versus over the Muse and far away. Hmm, we could do that. Deutsch Ballon. Hmm. Where's that? Because we're looking pretty good in the Benelux, I'll be honest. This looks really nice. We could do this area, which, actually, already has level 4 forts. Belgium itself already has level 4 forts, too. Or what was once Belgium. Uh, let's do this one. Why not? Our proper regime in Brussels is screaming for help against the cynicalists, extending the reactivation of the Ludendorff line over the Meuse River and up to the North Sea coast would be costly and take up precious time, but it might enable us to make a stand on foreign soil so that one, not one German civilian is threatened. Takes seven. Takes a week longer to make forts here, I think. Yeah, F Franz Vlandieren, Wallonie. Uh, do we get this one too, Franz? Yeah, all the way over here, all the way around through here, zoo, and then do we get Wallonie? Instead of doing it here, so be it, but still, butter. But we have a lot of political power. I'm waiting just to go to uh, war economy. So, yeah. Uh, I have a good feeling that we're going to be going to war very, 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 very incredibly soon. Because it's already September, so we'll see what happens. We're still not quite there yet for military stuff. Um, we still need to build ourselves up a little bit more. I want more roads. I want a lot more of everything here. We should be able to hold the line. Hopefully, in general, there's no guarantee that we will be able to. But hopefully, we can hold the line. And I guess we're still fighting here in Spain, huh? And we were, we were struggling here, definitely, because they have a lot of... A lot of divisions here and such, so kind of sucks over here. But Italy still doing okay, hopefully. Uh, just wait until they start attacking again as a group, and then we'll start attacking that way. And uh, Edward Dito, hope you guys are having a pretty good day. I'm doing okay myself. Uh, what's over here? Horse boys, horse boys. Well, since uh, well, Heinz, thank you for playing, but you'll come back in a little bit probably. Yeah, uh, we do have a little bit of arm over here as well. We'll see what happens. No guarantee that we'll do great. Oh. I know, like last time, Middle Africa did die. Not oh, so sad. But we'll, we'll reclaim it, hopefully. Uh, we're anywhere else. We're still defending here in Italy, which is nice, 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 nice. Oh, so this is a war. Oh, boy. The French ultimatum has arrived in Berlin. They're demanding that we hand over the imperial province of elsass lothringen which hasn't been controlled by the French since 1871, as it should be controlled by them. The French are threatening war with us if we refuse. This is where we must stand up to the French and resist their ambitions of world domination. How many days do we have? 12 days? Well, we can send in the army. Ooh, actually, it's not a bad idea. Get more weekly stability, which wouldn't be bad. Uh, I don't ever want to see that one. Thank you. And we, last time we did vote no to let the Russians, to give the Russians a vote, which is good. Um, send the army. Uh, where's the recovery rate, though? Are we truly prepared for war? No, honestly, not really at all. We have some things here that we don't have enough planes for everybody, which does suck. All right, let's go over here. Grab you. Thank you. And do this. Um, yeah, as you can tell, we are definitely not ready for war at all. Holy crap. Um... Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. Let's see. Fighters. Coordinated. Oh, coordinated cast. It's weird. Okay. Uh, there you go. One, two, three. Uh, we have no other planes, do we? 61. Nowhere near enough. This is what we have right now. 400 some out. 1100 some out. We need more planes. We've got a couple days left. Keep building, 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 building. And for shippies, is anyone training now? Ooh, Logistics 2 is very good as well. October now. Thank you, October. Thank you, thank you. 39. Not bad over here. Over here, we're doing pretty much everything we can already. Could use a little more rubber. We're going to definitely need more fuel once we start putting planes in the air as well. Uh, did we do anything well here at all? No. Eight days left. Give us a little more time. I, mean, I want these guys to win if possible. God, I want these guys to win if possible. I mean, it's been pretty brutal fighting down here. There is gun too, so. Uh, is it war? Well, then war it is. Wow, we lose political power? Given to France's demands? 
the rose on a precipice. And now they go to war with us, right? Actually, who else? So we do want Adrian Boone, third international, third international, third international. They play war with us, which is fine. So now we can jump all the way to total mobilization. No. There you go. Velum Grona dies. One of the heroes, oh, look at this, of the Valkyrie and the victory over the Bolsheviks during the Russian intervention. Feld Marshal Velum Grona has passed away today. All Germany is mourning, is in mourning for one of the great generals of the post Valkyrie Golden Age. Rua in Frieden. They're not attacking us. Uh, sure. I thought they'd be attacking us. Hmm. Chief of the Navy, Chief of Staff. What do we want here? Plus 10 max entrenchment. That's really flipping strong. Armor, attacking defense. Eh, Chief of. Da, 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 da. Heinz Guderian, of course. Guderian, Monstein, von Monstein. Daily command power increase is not bad, too. Artillery, attacking defense. Oh, not bad. More population, too. It's very nice. Oisinger, von der Wolbeck. Not bad. That's just really good. That's better than the infantry attacking defense sometimes, just because everyone gets more organization, which I think is really quite strong. I, I, I love having more and more and more, more organization. I love attack, more artillery attacking defense, too, but. Eh. Total artillery production cost does go down. Do you get more? Do you get more population? But this just improves everybody. More recovery rate, more defense, land forts. Eh. Calm Huba. Paul von Lutte back. Ah, let's go with him. Why not? Second Valkyrie. Alrighty, tidy. Let's see what happens. Now to all of you all right there. See if you can make it. And uh, sure. Well, and Golden Connet wants to help us out, so be it. That's fine with us. You guys do this too. Get over here, just protect the seas. Um, for now, make sure that no one's going through here, because that would be suicidal. Or down here, because we don't want that at all. What are we importing? Where are we importing from? That's fine. Malta is called in as our enemy. Whatever. We have f four, no, nine fighters here. Help cover the sea here. And we have you six, just in case we invade Denmark, which is not. No, at all. Hello, why are you still here? You know, I thought that, uh... That they go to war with us. But these guys would want to attack us. Oh, I am right. They are trying to attack us. Oh, are we losing here? Oh, that's pretty fast. How are we losing? Oh! Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, why do they go to war with us? Hold on. I mean, that's a good opportunity for them. Huh. How many divisions they got? Up to 64. Do we have anyone to spare? I think we'll be a few guys, so you guys should probably stop training. So, I guess we're going to have to make our way back over here and kill them all this way. That's the case. I'm going to send you guys over here, too, just in case. Well, it looks like we're going to get a Polish puppet eventually. Alliance with Bulgaria? Apparently. As it seems as though. <clears throat> the Boeing has decided to petition us for an alliance, for at least saying that they would like to assist us in a war against our enemies. Will be helpful to take on the Bulgarians as allies. It could also be a potential hindrance in accepting the main, may even weaken our internet pers international prestige. What, what do we say? We do that. Eh. Mm, sure. Why not? Sure. 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 All right, everybody. Look at this. Everyone wants to help us out. Okay. Sure. Why not? Let them attack us. Oh, we we'll get rid of Irish prophets. That sucks. I like those Irish prophets. Let them attack us, because our guys are actually pretty darn weak right now. Well, comparatively speaking. He's probably promoted, not bad. Where are you guys at? You guys gotta go in as fast as you possibly can. Oh, wait. Ooh, wrong front. Wrong front. Oh, boy. Yeah, no. You guys wanna hold. This is the front we want. Yeah, you guys are going in anyways. Von Preussen, very not bad. Very not bad yet. We've been cut off, haven't we? Well, that sucks, bro. Well, I guess I'll have to push this way. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Okay, every last poll you see. We should be able to hold, right? Right. Denmark petitions uh, to join the Rex Pact. Why is it seeking to fight along our forces? The Danish government's petition to join us in a struggle against our enemies. There seems little region, region or reason to not have them join, especially since their ascension and the pact were locked down the Baltic Sea in our favor. Uh, safeguarding our flanker there. Look, coming. A delegation has arrived from the Bulgaria offering to join the Middle Europa Union as its newest member state. We have naturally agreed. This new trade partner will make a fine addition to our collection. Pretty much, man. Yeah, go in as fast as you possibly can, because they're, they're, they're just moving through quickly. Uh, yes, 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 yes. No, yes, yes. 
We're just here. These these divisions are here just to help keep the peace for now. Yeah, that sucks over here. No, it's fine. Ah, oh yeah, these divisions too. Forgot about you guys. There you go. Oh, do we have any upgrades? No, von Bock. Uh, join him for now. Ah, good. More defense and organization. Very good. I hope they, they're going to lose every single son of Poland. They're going to lose every single one of them. Sure, you guys. Nice. Poland will be but a dream after we're done here. Security of our Reich. With the Vatala now at war with the Communist of France and its international allies, the Prime Minister has put forward a statute intending to disband all openly dis dangerous elements within our society, which includes leading elements of the SPD leadership. That's not up to the Kaiser to decide on the controversial subject. Ich sehe keine Parteien mehr, sondern nur noch Deutsch. Disband the soldiers and other malcontents and arrest the ringleaders. I see no par no more party. But only Germans? Eh, whatever. The Poles are going to regret this. They're going to heavily regret this. Uh, you, actually, both of you, have to go home. We literally can't afford your fuel costs right now. Do they really do force defense? All right, force the attack. Every single one of these divisions has to force the attack. Um, yeah, there's gonna be very high casualties against uh, the poles, which is fine with me. Whatever, they deserve them. They deserve to die. Anything else around here? No. Okay. Well, at least we got the forts, though. I'm glad we got the forts. That's actually really good. Fortify the Rhineland. Oh, we could probably do it anyways. The Rhineland is the most heavily industrialized region in the entire world. An absolutely vital to our economy, both in peace and war, all the same. It lies only a few miles away from a border that may have been eyeing nervously, been eyed nervously in recent months. In order to prepare against any eventualities, we should start extending the Ludendorff line out northwards. Yes, just in case. Why not? Well, we can. Oh, the Greek crusade. Right wing circles have been calling for a crusade against the Communist of France ever since the syndicalists managed to oust the legal government from the mainland France. Now, the wishes have finally come true, as the state of war now exists between our glorious Vaterland and the nest of Vipers for West. Kaiser Vilma II explained the reasons for Germany's involvement in another war with France in a special radio address, and called for the eradication of a final obstacle to achieving a place in the sun. Subsequently, thousands of young Germans rushed to enlist in the military, following the example of the Kaiser's grandsons, and civilians began gathering in the streets publicly displaying their support for the war. Despite enduring catastrophic crises, the German nations united once again. Long live Germany, long live the Kaiser. Gott erhält den Kaiser. Der Sieg wird unser sein. We could do this to get more stability, though. Mm, we could. Yeah, you know, get more stability. Stability is going to be really nice to have. Poland, you mess, you mess with the wrong people. I mean, it was really smart for you guys to go to war at the time like this. But you really mess with the wrong people. What are the cash like right now, actually? We've lost 11,000. We've only killed up 40,000 so far, which is not enough, but, you know, we'll get there. Wait for some of these people to get more upgrades too, so. It's gonna be definitely a slog fest, that's why we went Grand Battle Plan here. And even though we're losing guys on this front too, and horses, uh, it's worth it. Warsaw will be ours soon enough. Good, yes. Another division encircled, as it should be. Crush it, make it perish from this very earth. Oh, are we losing here? Yeah, you're not allowed to lose. I'd rather you all die than lose a single piece of German territory. Excavation. Nice. Ah, naval stuff. Good. Uh, what are we going to do here first? It's almost 1940. Not quite, but we're getting there, so radar. Why not? Any more shippies off? Subbies? Good. Oh. Oh boy. Holy crap, we lost 58, huh? Where, is there, where did our fleet go? Oh my goodness. Yeah, go home. You lost all your ships. Wow, we lost 65 destroyers. I mean, they weren't very good still, but... My god. Yeah, the fleet sucks. Come on. Well, if that's the case, we're gonna lose some stuff here too, then. There you go. It's alright. It's alright. They were meant to be used and abused. We're finding some other people we don't really care about. 
What were you doing? The naval bombers were literally doing nothing. Then again, we have like no fuel, but still. Huh. There you go. No, no, what did we lost? We had no fuel. Huh. Of course, we're just in our lines for now, too, but we'll see how long they last with us. Cool. And then we'll probably drop you down to the close economy. Probably limited exports. I had to fortify the Rhine. Military survival. The Jimmy people are renowned for their be bellicosity and national pride. The Valkyrie Cowra cost us dearly, and many family was denuded of its menfolk. It's time for us to revive the militaristic spirit of the Prussian era in the name of the Reich and, and Kaiser. Yeah, absolutely. More population recovery rate, more war support. Good stuff. Oh, capitulate Warsaw and burn it literally to the ground. I do not want Warsaw to be a city. I want it to be destroyed. That'd be really awesome. Like, if Hoy 4, like, Paradox could introduce, like, literal city raising, kind of like what that might happen, like, Civ 6, like, literally dismantle it and just get rid of it for the rest of the entire game unless someone wants to build it up. But then again, Hoy 4 has too much of a small timeline to build any of the cities back up, but still. I think that'd be great. I think that'd be an amazing addition if they could add it to the game. Hey, Warsaw. Ooh, Frontline City. Yes, please. Who's over here? Force it. Force it. They force against us. We'll force against them. I do not care. So, some more boys over there. That's fine with us. Um, limit exports is fine. How are we doing with civvies, millies? We're doing still pretty okay. Not great, but yeah, we're doing more millies. And now they're moving to a fight with the Third International too. Cooperation with the Entente. Many of our military experts believe our war against the Third International will be a difficult one to win without uh, some additional force applying pressure to the Syndicalists. Fortunately, the experts in the Kingdom of Canada appear to agree. They suggested that we meet with leaders from the Entente, now that they are also at war with the Communist France, and discuss the possibility we might work together. An alliance is out of the option, or out of question, of course. What is... What is the question is how much a cooperation is worth, considering they must fight the Cynicals anyhow. We need their help. Uh, we'll see what we can do. No trains, huh? Nice. Cool. Cape Commune. So much training for them. Experiment, experimental research. Keep the figure pull. Um, can't do any of this stuff yet. Take action against the liberals and social threats. In opposition to the Reich's have been significantly thinned out. But some parties like the SPD or FVP are still thrown on their side. Leaves every opportunity to expose in the Reich's and reveal ridiculous evidence of our alleged anti democratic machinations. Perhaps it's time for us to have some of our critics checked by the decked Reich's Polizei and see whether they are the ones who abuse the trust of the people. A thorough investigation will reveal the truth. And it shall. Decidedly so. Go back in, boys. You know what to do. The only good poll here is a dead poll. The Halifax Conference. Leaders from the Entente and the Reichspact gathered in Halifax today in order to discuss the possibility of cooperation in the war against the Third International. What this cooperation would consist of was not difficult to ascertain. Military and naval access between all members, and but more importantly for the Entente, the willingness on the part of the Reichspact to stay out of both France and Great Britain once the war is done. This would allow for a swift return to Europe for the French and British exile governments, the ultimate goal of both. But now a single question hangs over the conference. Would the German Empire even agree to such terms? And if so, what would they ask for in return? That's an excellent question. How do they have this much equipment here? I do not understand our demands. Yeah, they don't know how they have this much equipment, but they're going to die. Staying out of both France and Britain, or Great Britain, in the peace conference, following our future, future victory, would mean the German Empire walking away from a long and costly war with little show for it, and possibly two restored neighbors who have who have vanquished previously, and who do have no reason to be fond of us. We're going to rely on the gratitude, so do we even consider the idea? What do we ask for in return? Public do not claim. Must join Middle Europa. Oh, that'd be really cool. We must. They're. They must recognize their former colonies. And Africa and Asia's ours. We get their colonies. After they turn to Paris, the French must join Middle Europa. You know what? Let's see if we can do that. I've never seen that happen. I want to see that happen now. Hey, it's unhappy guys over here too. I'm not so worried about the poles because they will run out of men, and we will concentrate. We'll put them in concentration camps. 
They agreed to join Middle Europa. The German delegations demanded that the French national state agree to join Middle Europa. The German economic union after Paris has been regained. Most president of the conference believe the Germans intend to have some form of economic control over the French as they built, rebuilt the country, but possibly their offer is benign. What other motivation the French have agreed when the time comes will join Middle Europa as requested? We'll believe it when we see it. Do we demand more? Well, we'll see. Do we demand more? Oh, look at that. Uh, we've made it this far in the negotiations. Do we demand more concessions from the Entente or we've reached a successful conclusion to the treaty? Ooh. Let's do that one. I want it. I want this stuff. Oh, we broke over the river. Nice. That's actually really good. I wonder if we can get any more after that. They renounce Alsace Lorraine. Shockingly, the French delegates have agreed, after much discussion with the Germans, to publicly renounce their claims to Alsace Lorraine. And the Germans agree to the Halifax Conference Treaty of Cooperation, considering the humiliation involved for the French to do so. It speaks of how much they believe the treaty will help the return to the continent. A sweet admission on their part. Do we demand more? Oh man, if we could get even more after that, that'd be great. Um, can they actually renounce all their colonies as well? Like, I am fine. They will join us. We will beat them and humiliate them like crazy. So we're going to save here, see if we can actually get for them to recognize their colonies, basically our colonies, after the war is all done. And as you can see, the game lags extremely hard now when trying to save. Like, it's ridiculous. Yeah, so we'll see. You are nothing. Um, yeah, we could definitely use more planes here too, but I don't think we have that many left. How many have we lost? 81,000? Uh, mostly to the poles. 50 some 6,000. Yeah, that's not enough. German colonies recognized. Okay, then. The French and uh, British colonies gained by the Germans since the first Valkyrie have been a sticking point. As some annexes, others occupied temporarily due to the lack of what the Germans claimed was a competent government to administer them. Now the Germans have demanded the colonies in Africa and Southeast Asia to be officially recognized as heirs, forestalling future efforts to see them restored, and the Entente has agreed. It's a symbolic gesture, perhaps, but one that could prevent a great deal of conflict in the future. Good. Well, we got everything we wanted, pretty much. Not bad. They should be out of stuff already. Let's proceed to the treaty. I'm not going to stop here with these pieces of garbage. They will burn. I don't care how many men it takes to kill them off. We will cooperate. Yeah. Because this is actually getting really good for army XP as well. So, like, this is a bit ridiculous. Like, they there's no way that Poland has this many factories to produce this much equipment. There's literally no way. Absolutely no way they can have this much equipment here. Uh, sure, that's fine. That's fine. Mm, happy 1940, everybody. I want you to force the attack. Come on, you have to be able to get in there. The devs, I think, probably gave them extra attack and defense, probably, right? Because this makes no sense. No? But it doesn't make any sense. Five percent, my God, don't lose you. Are you kidding me, man? This is so stupid. They attack us, and yet they're able to just to just go all willy nilly against us. They should have. They should not have a hundred percent war support. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> what? They're going to assault us? No, 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 no. That doesn't make any sense. That literally makes no sense. You hold, you attack there. How do we keep losing stuff? How? 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 This literally makes no sense. And we have ships and planes here too. Yeah, these guys are going to die anyways. I wasn't really concerned about these guys too much, but... This is stupid. This is incredibly stupid. This isn't even core territory. This shouldn't be core territory. And we have air superiority here? Like, bro. Seriously? More breakthrough, yes, please. Thank you. These divisions are not that bad. They're not great, but they're not bad. You know what? You want to stop attacking? So be it then. Uh, let's let's buy these guys up then. Because we're going to attack them right again. Oh, uh, who do we want here? Polish bias? I think so. I think quite a bit of Polish bias here. Um, actually, you guys can also stay there too. There you go. Um, I'm pretty sure I stopped y'all, right? Yeah, I did. But the game just does not like to listen, so... 
and burn every pole to the ground. You should eat. Uh, this is ridiculous. This is stupid. How are they able to attack us back? Seriously, bro. There's no flipping way they'd be able to. Um, you guys, just kind of stay where you're at. It's fine for now. There's literally no way they would be able to. This doesn't make any sense. It's one thing they dare superiority, but they do not. They do not. Repairing, repairing. Do we need no? We're okay with that one. Better Mauser 2s. Need more Millies, of course. Uh, there you go. Not bad. Could be better, though. There we go. Mm-hmm. Oil must flow? Pretty much. Maybe. Mm. Eh, I'll come back over here first. Give me a few seconds. Then we gotta get more equipment in those divisions. See what you can do. Come on, Bolin, you wanna go to war with us? Come on, bring it on. Bring it on, you pieces of garbage. No? Alright. Well, so be it. So be it. This is stupid. This is incredibly stupid. Force it. Hmm. Alright, there you go. And then... Over here, then what? Ship stuff? Yes, sub attack, convoy raiding. Sword efficiency wouldn't be bad. Screen attack, defense, capital ship attack and defense. I even 10% more is not bad. We'll go with that one, why not? This is stupid. How are they able to defend and still attack at the same time? My god. There's no way they have this much equipment. There's just literally no way. Poland is not easy to play because they have, like, nothing. Good. Kill every single last one of them off. Every single last one of these people off. God, we need actual tanks. Riga. Latvia. Uh, well. Guess we're gonna go to them next. But we're gonna finish off Poland first. I don't care what happens. We're finishing off the Poles first. Force it. Seriously, force it. I'm sick of these Poles. This makes literally no sense. Uh, who are you? Yeah, let's just do all, all we can. Thank you very much. Yeah, all these guys is fine. And okay, we're done with the air doctrine. Not bad. How? 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 What do you have on these divisions? How? How the hell are they able to do that? And just beat up this division? Yeah, I don't think so. There's definitely some sort of Polish bias here. Absolutely. This literally makes no sense. It makes no sense whatsoever. Hey guys, you want to come in? That's fine. Uh, still holding out here. It's fine. Whatever. These guys are fine. Just go in. Just kill them off. What are they on? Sir? How? How? This makes no sense. I'm sorry. I'm complaining so much here, but this literally makes no sense. How? Hmm... Infantry expert, what do you have else here? Infantry expert, sure, why not? That's fine. Only cost five command power for that. Whatever. Sure thing, everybody. That's fine, fine, fine. Yep. We're out of we're out of guns. Cause somehow Poland is able to just resist us at every single turn. Like Doesn't make any sense. Our allies will probably be able to beat up Latvia faster than this. I, this is something I would definitely question in Kaiser Redux. Like, how? Does this make any sense? No. Get some nuclear stuff, because we will nuke probably the Russia in the end. 
What's wrong with these horses? I mean, we made them pretty good, I thought, right? Cavalry divisions? No? Is this the one we're using? I mean, I played too many campaigns where I don't even know what I'm using anymore. Uh, there you go. Get some of that. We'll use some anti-air, because that's always good to do as well. And get some recon. That's nice. Sure. Sure. Oh, uh, sure. New England. Ah. My god. Agent capture. That sucks, bro. It's fine. Infiltrator. Adolf Lang. Thank you. Sure thing, guys. Nice. And restructure the Oberst Hells Leitung. The Oberst Hells Leitung consists of the elite of the officer corps and makes all important decisions regarding our army, unfortunately. Some of the officers that are not there are not particularly willing to cooperate with us. Perhaps it's time to take some of the senior generals into, well their, into their well earned retirement. It will simply transfer the younger, more ambitious officers to boost our nose to our most distant colonies, where they can continue to serve the Reich, but no longer pose a threat to our goals. Pretty normal. Pretty god darn normal. Yeah. Why not? Alright, you guys can go down here too. Yeah, you want to force defense? That's fine with me. Because we'll just force the attack. Um, army logistics. Actually, it might not be too bad to get that one. Entrenchment. Maybe you can have one too if you want. And do you have any other upgrades? Oh, logistics was very good. Yeah, we lost we lost a lot of guys. 166,000, I'm sorry. But, yeah, there's actually... just It feels like there's like extreme Polish bias here. I know we're not supposed to be just willy nilly attacking with infantry, but at the same time... Infantry is not that strong and weak on defense at the same time. But, like, it makes no sense. How can I crack them? And they don't have air superiority. They literally do not have air superiority. So... Thanks for the Polish bias, devs. Thanks a lot. Thanks so much. I just finally sunk some enemy carriers. Thank God. Thank God. Holy crap. With all these dead Germans, well, we're gonna... I'm gonna massacre everyone here in Poland. Like, this is ridiculous. Go there. How can they make that, that many guns? And just basically keep that many guns in stockpile while we are just attacking like crazy at, at them? Doesn't make any sense. Go right here. 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 Cut all these guys off. And up attack here too. Anything else? Still plenty of fuel. We lost another 32 subs. Jesus Christ. Well, we got some work in mind on our naval stuff too, so. Come on, cut him off, cut him off, cut him off, cut him off, cut him off. Latvia's... How do we beat Latvia faster than Poland? I'm sorry that I'm complaining so much with this, but this is ridiculous. Give it back to Riga. There you go, Riga. How many guns are we out? Seriously, this blood will be soaked with so much Polish blood. It's not even funny. I'm, I'm tempted to just give myself manpower because this is, this, this is BS. Like, this is so stupid. There's no way the Poles will be able to hold up for this long. Absolutely no way. Um, what do we want to do here? Tank stuff, heavy tanks, hard attack, armor. I feel like a lot of reliability, though. Breakthrough, production costs, max speed is not bad. I feel like the breakthrough. One more breakthrough stuff. And more speed, sure. Why not? We'll go that one. Doesn't matter how, how badly you want to defend Poland. Look at that. I mean, come on. They should not have 100% war support. There's no way in hell that they should ever have 100% war support if they're on the offensive. Doesn't matter, go in. Doesn't matter, go in. I will literally depopulate Poland if I have to. There we go. Thank God we finally separated these pieces of garbage off. Fall of Warsaw, burn it to the ground. L literally, I want to burn it to the ground. Yeah, seriously, we need a concentration camp on here, because this is ridiculous. No independence. Absolutely no independence. Kill every last... Literally kill every last pole. 
Like, this video's probably gonna get flagged. <laughs> but, like, that's ridiculous, and that's just, that's stupid, and the devs should feel really incredibly bad for this. Like, this makes no sense. How? How the hell are they able to defend, for, like, for so long? It literally makes no sense. I am pissed off at that so much. I mean, Jesus flipping Christ. It makes no sense. Let's do research, though. While we've already made good progress in some of the more traditional fields related to the industry, engineering, chemistry, physics, and some of our scientists want funding to conduct research into some more esoteric matters. Though profit might not be as immediate, their long-term potential is immense. Poland, independence. Polish independence, please. Uh, fate of Poland. Kill every last one of them off. Our soldiers are marching through the streets of Warsaw after the Polish army surrendered early yesterday afternoon. Now we must decide what to do with their lands. Liberate them? Ha! Huh. Ha! Huh. Hell no. Hell no. The German government has been discussing what to do with the Ukrainian lands we currently occupy, land which we have no right to claim to. Should we return the lands to Ukrainian allies? Why not? Yes, you can have some of the lands. This way is one less tile that we have to deal with ourselves. But yeah, like, why? Like, what? Was what was I doing wrong? The fall of Bucharest, huh? I mean, these guys are turning with Obviously, they're not extremely good. But they're not bad. What, what did I do wrong? Hello. Oh, Belgrade fucked. Oh. I need a concentration camp button. Yeah, that's ridiculous. That's absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, I might just give myself manpower because we shouldn't have lost that many guys. I know Poland's not supposed to be like super, 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 super easy, but at the same time, how can they make the hundreds of thousands of guns? Like, they're producing as many guns as we were probably destroying. It literally made no sense whatsoever. Dev's got a Polish boss. Confirm. But yeah, at least they're dead now. And they're going to stay dead. I seriously want to depop. You know, i got to play the UMC mod. I will just... Hmm. Let's go back to TNL. Work as well. Work as well. But let me make more factories, and more uh, refineries. As much as I love, uh, love making roads, get some more of that. How's radar doing? Doing okay. Could use a slight improvement, huh? Maybe it's up here as well. Yeah. Could use definitely more planes. Just more military fighters, military factories in general. Let's go bing and bong. There you go. Do that one first because you're closer. Alright, so after experimental research, use the wealth of the Junkers. Our plan is working perfectly. The opposition has been almost eliminated. The press has been brought into line, and our allies are united behind us. However, we cannot just stop now. We'll ask the Junkers to reinvest part of their newly acquired wealth in projects preferred by our government. For example, to provide equipment for our brave soldiers or to finance the kitchens for the poor. That will certainly increase our popularity with the troops and the people. Nice. Rax reform plan. There's Junker influence. Not bad. Renewed militarism is good. Yeah, I'm, I might just give myself manpower, because that, I mean, I'm, I'm not... That, that type of BS, I just won't tolerate it. Like, what? It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, good luck trying to play as Poland, yeah. If I ever try to play as Poland, it's not going to ever be that easy. It will literally never, ever, ever be that easy to fight against the Germans. If I were to do that, I would never be able to defend them as well as AI does, because I'm sure the AI was cheating. I, they must have been. They absolutely must have been. What is, what is up with Russia? Why are they not attacking us yet? It's a very curvy Mongolia, too. You're still fighting the trick. Pietro the Fourth. Definitely struggling over there. Not sure what they have up there, though. I think up next, so it's 1940. We're gonna get the next research slot. Not after this one, but after the after this one as well. Dutch and Oba'alas will be very good. Huh. National Spirit's Rex Reform Plan, either Yonko Influence or Goring's Influence will be merged. Not bad. But, I do want to see if we can grab some planes and ships and tanks. Seriously, we're having five research slots. It's absolutely important. Oh, wait, what the heck? Bolivia. Attrition, don't really care. Yeah, we'll use them anyways. Why not? There you go. Alright. Getting more daily. Um, next piece, good. Naval stuff. I do apologize once again for complaining so much, but you know, if the game basically wants to cheat, then the game basically wants to cheat, I guess, you know? I mean, it'd be one thing if I was complaining and I was trying to, like, ram our divisions like the AI does, like what the AI is doing literally right now against these guys. 
but we're not. We're not. So, like, over there, like, doesn't make any sense. Uh, tank stuff. Okay. We're gonna start getting some heavies. We like them heavy. If they're not heavy, we don't want them. Better actually go, go with a fat stack right there. Yeah, go heavy tanks. We'll use heavy tanks to push through here. I'm not super worried about this right now, though. Mmm, millies. Yeah, just get more millies. And best men in Egypt. A number of companies have decided that they're going to invest in Egypt, which has begun a program to modernize the country. As such, those companies are seeing slightly better profits, and it's just started to trickle back to Germany. Nice. The High Commissioner has convened the Council to vote on a special motion whether or not to allow the location cities a, a fleet of its own. With the world growing more polarized and war torn by the day, it's only natural that the isolated French or legation cities should look to their own defense. But can we afford to spare the cost of providing a ship for the fleet? We shall vote with care. Create creation of a legionary. Uh, I don't really care. One, two, three, four. Sure, you know what? Yeah, we'll say yes. What is this? Do we have any deep buffs too? Imperial Pride, Fruits of the Open Door. No. We have Black Facts of Black Monday still. Rocks from Plan, eventually here. Yeah, there is it. There it is. That's actually very strong. That's actually really awesome. No, we have no deep buffs. Nice job, Austria. Yes! Wait. Wait, do you want to send us Vol. You can send us. Hmm? Well, the PSA is doing quite well. Hungry. Oh, it's Hungry wants to send something. Oh, there. Yeah, okay. These guys have stopped attacking us, which is kind of weird, but okay. Sure. 1940s, planes, anything else for tanks. 41, 41. We can wait on that stuff. Everything else is good to go. Uh, we can do that, but we'll get some better fighters. We can upgrade those fighters, too, so. So, where are the. Uh, you, says you, you guys say you can win. I don't believe you. I really do not. Especially since we don't have enough planes. The vault fails. Alright, interesting. Follow just once again for being so rigid earlier. It just, you know, when the AI wants to just grind my gears, it definitely knows how to. Huh. <laughs> yeah, we need more millies. Yeah, I'm just gonna give myself manpower later. That this is ridiculous. Is there any way I can punish populations in Hoi 4? God, I wanna punish them so hard. No, I don't want you to capitulate. I literally want to kill you all. You're running away from me in the streets. Like, you're going to bring out my inner authoritarian with crap like this. Um, how do I colonize him? That's a real question. Good, good, good. Keep making more millies. We're getting more anti-air, which is very, very good. Why do they stop attacking, man? Why do they stop attacking? I mean, obviously, these guys are very garbage, actually. Hmm. How much artillery do we have? 3,500, huh? Let's break the common with, or combat with. There you go. I do want to throw anti-tank on here as, as well, because I think we're going to need it. Anti-tank. Well, we, we don't have any factories on it, which does suck quite a bit. War propaganda. Nothing else there. Ship stuff. Carrier stuff, that's actually really good. But it doesn't give you any more deck size. You definitely want more deck size. That's good. So after using the wealth, extra research funding. Investing in science and technology to stimulate advances in both military and civilian affairs. It's not an awfully good phrase. It doesn't actually say anything, but it surely sounds good. Anyway, the laboratories are over there. Good, 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 good. Playing support equipment now, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. Now we need more fighters. Tons and tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of fighters. Make sure we flesh out this a little bit more. I want to get a few more factories down here on these things as well. The Ru what? How many divisions? The Russians have a lot on Finland. <laughs> oh my god, they're all in Finland. Are they suffering attrition up here? I would assume that they would be, since it looks pretty bad up there. Let's take a look. Petrograd. Here, take two over here. Can we actually do a two-front war, maybe? Probably not, but maybe. How much of you learn, Carl Dunitz? Anything? No? Hmm. Ah, using the wealth of the Yonkas. The research slot is absolutely important, though, right now. Followed up with Deutschland over alles. A hard work has paid off. We finally have absolute control over the Reich and the dominance of our government and party in will remain unchallenged for a long time now. All that remains is to ensure that Kurt von Schleicher succeeds in keeping the interests of the Junkers and his other allies in balance. Otherwise, it could be extremely uncomfortable for him. Balance. 
Well, Sweden's do be looking pretty nice right now. Actually, Finland's in the Reichsback too, so not bad. Of course, these guys are fighting the Anton as well, so hmm. Look at that. The anti goring pack still exists. Go and train over here as well. And do we need anything like a supply hub? If you're about the Dark Star, please go ahead. What a nice story. Something like that. I want to get this book on my desk. I love the uh, new order. Uh, keep doing that too. That's fine for now. Well, it's definitely calmed down on the front. Even though we're, we haven't moved. We don't plan on moving. They have to come to us, so. Uh, how's Austria doing? Austria, oh my gosh. You literally gave them... Oh, this is so ugly. Access to the sea. You took Drava and Trieste, but you still left them independent. So ugly, man. So ugly. Keep sinking. Keep sinking. You're not done yet. One, two, three. One, da, 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 da. Not bad. Or else uh, do we have supply issues on the front? Because we will have quite a few supply issues, I'm pretty sure. So, Except for the them zones, too. Not bad. Um, if we could throw something here as well, that wouldn't be that bad, too. There you go. Something like that. Cameroon. Nice, nice, nice. Very surprised we can't do anything here. Hmm. Austria wishes to join the war. Today, a facsimile arrived from Vienna saying that our neighbors are keen on helping out with the ongoing war against the common France. Well, the Austrian army is no more than a train wreck <laughs> as it was during the Valkyrie game, would us be of help. Those would be a second front against Italy, and the Habsburg certainly have a stake in the Italian peninsula. No. Nope. We're good. We don't need them. And now they're moving to join the second Valkyrie. Cool. Wouldn't be a Valkyrie without them. This time it would be different. Poland. I'm going to burn Poland to the ground. It'll literally be our Laban drum right now. How are these guys... Are these guys still fighting? They've got to be fighting, right? They're still fighting each other. How? Ooh, also, like at this point, just can just throw you guys over here. Wait, wait, guard infantry. No wonder we're using garbage. But still, that is that's, that's still no excuse at all for how poorly the soldiers performed. Especially considering most of the Polish divisions didn't have that either. Didn't have a uh, support equipment either. Like, come on. I want to attack. I'd love to try and attack. But I don't think we'd win anywhere. Like Leo? Yeah, I don't think so. Little probing attacks. Might as well wait for tanks. I'm, I'm really tempted to go to war with these guys, too. I mean, supplies wouldn't be very good. And we already don't have enough artillery pieces. Oh, God. And anti air, but still. Trains will be fine. Artillery needs to be improved. Uh, at least up to eight. Uh, as we're building up more supply depots too, so uh, you must try to finish at least one of these first. Need to buy him. It's fine for now. Going. Oh, hello. It's good having allies too. Got plenty of guns though. In 103 days, we'll start making the tank chassis. Um, how are we doing over here? You doing okay? Oh, you're just repairing. Oh, you're. Oh, you're all the way over there. Holy crap! Up there too. And you're still repairing. Okay, so you know what? Screw it. We have nothing to do basically too. It's fine for now. Well, with this, with these guys down here, they can actually maybe push into Greece, maybe a little bit. Um, how long would it take for us to just fight on these guys? We'll see what happens. Uh, anything else? I do want to go to total mobilization, but I don't think that would really help us out that much right now. Yeah, they just... They just stopped moving. 
There's only half you guys out of here. Not everybody, but like. Keep two divisions here. Will they attack? Will you attack? Machine, not bad. Will you attack us at all? No? Bro. What's wrong with these guys? Something's wrong with the AI. The AI, be well, they, there's always something wrong with the AI, but whatever. Let's get this one done. Let's go to the other focus. And we'll read one more after this one as well. Because I do want to do Deutschland über alles. Uh, oh, oil must flow. Importing more than 100 years of oil. Well, we're doing okay. I did ask you guys yesterday, though. Whether we should do Siemens, Krupp Steel, or Malta contracts. And overall, there's literally slightly, slightly more support for... Mauser contracts, founded under the auspices of the mighty Friedrich himself. Uh, Mauser has been instrumental in aiding the growth of German power over the past century. By sponsoring them more directly, we can increase and improve our arms, small arms production, which will be very, very good. Allgemein Reichswahlreichsreform. Reichskanzler Kurt von, Schle von Schleicher has announced that his Reichsreform plan also includes a general form of the Reich's electoral law, which he will present to the Reichstag today. In his view, the current electoral law on the Reich is susceptible to manipulation by our enemies, and Germany can only remain stable if the Elections are fair and just, which is why he has worked out a reform. The vote on the reform is scheduled for this afternoon, but frankly, the result is already certain, since von Schleicher was able to convince a majority of the MPs of his plan in advance. The Reichstag passes the Allgemein Reichswahlrechtsreform. And Reich Councillor Kurt von Schleicher smiles, satisfied. And we're trying now. Uh, we're already doing Mao's contracts. Actually, we just finished that up. We've just selected what? Nothing. We have not selected anything else here for now, because, well, we're not working on too much else. But I think for now, we will go down this route with new weapons. Well, the German army has the greatest soldiers in the world. It must not lack behind equipment in terms. Even the greatest soldiers will ha have a hard time defeating a better equipped enemy. And it would not be due for the preeminent world power to have troops armed with broomsticks. Once again, I do, of course, apologize for uh, <laughs> being so rigid towards Poland. But you know what? The Poles deserved it. The Poles deserve what we're going to do to them. So, But we have the new Reich, which looks pretty darn awesome. All these bonuses look really, really cool. Um, let's see. We already have advancements in Egypt still. We need militarism, of course. Head of intelligence. Uh, Black Monday effects, which does suck. So basically, we gotta get to here, and the PKI first, and to get down to the military industrial complex, because once we get this one done, then we can do Gehaltskosum. So, we definitely, definitely, definitely have to get down here, so, new weapons, PK1, why not? Black Monday has hit the civilian industries horribly, and the military industry has been affected even worse. Our military supply specialists are clamoring for a program of, for the extension of war-relevant industries, or program for the Erweiterung Kriegsweg-Tiger. Industrian to ensure military is both to fight and the military industrial complex. With unrest in the West and the bear awakening in the East, Germany for then ever needs to be ready for the challenges that are ahead of it. With investing in our local arms producers, we will ensure that German soldiers is well equipped for the challenges that lay ahead. Pounds of factories would be nice, but we can't quite do that one, so I'll do this one and then we'll come over here and do this one. Can the enormous salaries of those officials who can move more than afford to do so hasn't been met with open arms. Many have called Grona a cynicalist in cheap clothing, but quickly retracted their statements on threat of release of their expenses during the crisis. It would appear that Grona won't be invited to any social gatherings amongst the aristocracy for quite some time. Even though I think he died, didn't he? I'm pretty sure he died, so. It's almost 41. I mean, this stuff is not bad, but mm, 15 above. I prefer that one. So, let's see what we can do here. For this tank, how are we going to make our tanks? Hopefully nice and heavy. Uh, what do we want? Heavy armaments? Heavy, basic cannon, improved heavy cannon. Probably this one. And we're going to go with what? Heavy turrets, two man turret, three man turrets. A little more breakthrough too. A little less speed. Ha fixed superstructure, huh? Ah, uh, two man turrets good enough for us. What we really want here. Here now we're going to go with radio, improved radio. Yes, please. We're going to go with special modules, wet ammo storage for even more reliability because we want as much reliability as possible here. Oh, uh, stabilizer. It's okay. Not bad. More breakthrough is pretty good though. More piercing isn't bad either. We already have enough piercing that we can really just pierce ourselves, so we're pretty good. Armor. Even more armor? Well, that sounds really nice. Anything else? Smoke launchers. You lose reliability with extra ammo storage. Armor skirts. Dozer blades. Piercing is still not bad to get, though. Hmm. It says five more breakthrough, but you get eight more, which is not bad. Uh, I just don't want to lose any more reliability, so... Stabilizer or piercing? Well, we have enough piercing, I think, for now. I don't think there's going to be that much, so much armor that we cannot pierce 137 and a half. So, let's get more breakthrough. So, that looks pretty good. We have enough army XP here, too. So, after this, with this armor stuff, that much more armor is insane. But even getting more than that, 50% more, more cost, that's fine with us, 17. Not bad. G-Wagon? G-Wagon, no, not G-Wagon. Um, diesel engine? 
gives you even more reliability. Diesel, 25% more reliability would be very good. This would be kill a petroelectric. Eh, no thanks. And then here, torch tension bar, even more reliability. That's why I want to go as high as we possibly can for this thing. Look at that, not bad. Now we can't go up quite high, not quite that high yet. Uh, we have 34, so we'll go down to 5, which is okay for max speed. Reliability is still very high, and fuel usage does go up, but <clears throat> this is an improved tank chest that we'll use. We're not going to quite make it yet, because we definitely need more army XP. Wow. Holy crap. We definitely need more army XP, so. Um, but I think that's where we're going to end it for today. With all these extra focuses I've read, I'm just going to do some of this off screen, just because this is slightly infuriating with how stupid trying to take out Poland is. So I do apologize once more again, but uh, maybe we'll read one more. Finish Black Money Reforms. <clears throat> It seemed impossible, but the numbers confirm it. The cross is nearing its end. The key point is that it's not over yet. There are still millions of those jobs and civil societies have been stretched to a breaking point. The catastrophe of Black Monday will leave marks for a generation, but this is the beginning of the end. But if you enjoyed today's episode, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we will crush and murder every single poll, and probably those in the Communist France and the Union of Britain. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.